In this video, we are going to learn about dividing a polynomial by a polynomial. There are two different methods that we are going to use. We have the long division and we have the synthetic division. First, we have to consider the property of division. In the law of exponent, we have am divided by an will give us am minus n. So in dividing a polynomial, there are problems that have exponents. So therefore, we have to consider this property as well, or the law of exponent. Okay, let's try some example using the long division. Okay, for example, divide x squared minus 5x plus 8 divided by x minus 3. So you have to compare which method are you going to use. Okay, so first the long division. We can have now x minus 3. Okay, x squared minus 5x plus 8. So the first thing that you have to do only is you're going to divide the first term into the value of x. So x squared, x squared now divide by x. So when we consider this law of exponent, so therefore x squared divide by x, so this one considered have one exponent. So therefore we will have x. And then after that, we multiply this one. So we have x times x, we get x squared. x times negative 3 will give us negative 3x. Then after that, you have to subtract. So we get to change now the sign from positive to negative. This one will become positive. So the result is this one is 0. This one will give us negative 2x and then bring down 8. Then after that, negative 2x divided by x will give us minus 2, right? Because x divided by x is 1 times negative 2 will give us negative 2. Then multiply, so therefore we'll get negative 2x and then we get positive 6. Then the same. We have to change the sign into positive now. Change this one into negative. So therefore, the result is equal to this one is 0 plus 2. So the answer of this one will give us x minus 2 plus the remainder which is 2 over x minus 3. Okay, so therefore in this case, we have a remainder. Now, let's compare if we are going to use a synthetic division. In synthetic division, you are going to find, you are going to make this one equate to zero. So therefore, this one now will give us, okay, this one will give us positive three. And then you write all the coefficients of the value of x. So therefore, x squared have 1. And then we have negative 5. And we have positive 8. So first, you have to bring down 1. And then you multiply to make it here. So 3 times 1, we get 3. And then we get negative 2. 3 times negative 2, we get negative 6. And then... Add that one, so therefore we will get positive 2. So our answer now, minus the exponent here, the highest degree, with 1. So therefore we will get x squared minus 2 plus 2 over x minus 3. Okay? Let's try another example. What if we have x squared plus 
9x plus 20 divide by x plus 5. Okay? So let's do first long division and then after that we will do synthetic or we can do first synthetic division. Okay, so therefore we will have now negative 5. Then after that you will write the coefficient. So we have 1, 9, and 20. Okay, so therefore you will have to bring down 1, multiply that 1 will give us negative 5. And then subtract or add. So therefore 9 minus 5 is 4. And then negative 5 times 4, we get negative 20. So therefore there is no remainder. The answer will give us x plus 4. Let's see in a long division. So we have x plus 5. Or we say we have x squared plus 9x plus 20 divided by x plus 5. So x squared divided by x, we get x, multiply x squared, and then plus 5x. And then subtract, so you change this one into, change this one now into negative, negative. So therefore, the result will give us 4x plus 20. And then after that, we get plus 4 multiply so we get 4x and plus 20 and then change the sign so we'll give this one change it into negative and then bring as 0 so therefore the answer will give us x plus 4 so both of them have the same result okay another example what if okay in this case in this uh, example we cannot use or we can use as well synthetic division but it's better that you're going to use a uh, long division in this example so the example is 6x squared minus 11x minus 14 over 2x minus 5 okay so here if you will use synthetic division this one will become a fraction because you equate this one into zero so therefore we will have to choose now long division so if there if x have a coefficient therefore you have to use long division so therefore we will have now 6x squared minus 11x minus 14 divide by 2x minus 5 so therefore, 6x squared divided by 2x, we will get 3x. And then you multiply. So therefore, we get 6x and then negative 15x. Okay. And then we change the sign. Negative becomes positive. So therefore, this one is 0. This one now will become 4x minus 14. And after that, 4x divided by 2x will give us positive 2x or positive 2 because we get x divided by x will get x raised to 0 or equal to 1. So 2 times 2x we get 2 4x and then 2 times negative 5 will give, get or will give us negative 10. Then after that we change the sign that will give us 14 plus 10, positive 4. So your final answer now will give us 3x plus 2, remainder plus 4 over 2x minus 5. Okay? So you can choose which one, which uh, method are you going to use. Okay? So that it's easier for you to solve, okay? So you have to choose either synthetic or a long division. Another example, what if we will have this problem? Let's say 3x squared plus, uh, we'll make it uh, 3x cubed plus x plus 2. 
divide by x plus 1. Okay, so in this case, we will try to use synthetic division. Okay, in synthetic division, we are going to do this form. We change this one into negative 1. And after that, you write the coefficient. The highest degree is 3 or cube. So we write the coefficient of numerical coefficient is 3. Now, guys, you observe that there is no x squared. So therefore, what you're going to do is you write 0 for x squared. And then for x is equal to 1 and 2. Next, bring down 3, multiply negative 3. And then we put negative 3 here, negative times negative, so therefore we will have positive 3. Makes that one 4, and negative 3, or negative 1 times 4, we get negative 4. So our answer is negative 2. And then after that, you make this one now, minus the highest degree by 1, the, the exponent. We can have now 3x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus 2 going return back to the original we have equation which is x plus 1. So this one now will be our answer. Okay, so again you have to choose which one is easier for you, the long division or the synthetic division. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day.